In this demonstration, we'll take a look at the AutoML UI, a no-code user interface supporting automated machine learning for both data scientist productivity and non-expert user access to in-database algorithms. The AutoML UI accelerates machine learning projects by alleviating the repetition and tuning expertise required by the machine learning process. So we're looking at the Oracle Machine Learning homepage on Autonomous Database. We're going to click AutoML. From here, we'll create an experiment. We'll call it Credit Scoring 2. The data that we're going to use is Credit Scoring 100K. And the target is Credit Score Bin, whether or not the person has good or bad credit. And the case ID is the unique customer ID and it's a classification problem automatically determined by the algorithm based on the predicted target. Now we could stop there and start our experiment, but there are a few settings we might want to adjust. For example, the top models. Maybe we want fewer models or more. The database service level determines how much parallelism we want on the database server. There are also model metrics that you may want to adjust to select the model ranking and the selection of the top model. By default, all of the algorithms available for a given technique are selected, but you may want to deselect certain algorithms depending on your needs. And the features are the predictors available in our data set. By default, all of those are selected, but you may want to deselect some of them depending on your solution's requirements. We also see statistics and the data type, and if we scroll down, we have the credit score bin, which is our target, and that customer ID is not being included as one of the predictors. Now we're ready to start our experiment. We can choose faster results or better accuracy. Faster results simply means that fewer pipeline combinations will be chosen. So now our experiment is preparing to run. The workflow that's set up involves algorithm selection, adaptive sampling, feature selection, model tuning, and feature impacts. And when the algorithms are selected, we see those that will come under the model tuning for decision tree, naive bays, and support vector machine. Now this will just take a couple of minutes to run, but we have an experiment that's already been completed, so we're going to jump to that. Now looking at our leaderboard, we can select additional metrics for our models. These are all pre-computed. By clicking on a given model, we can see the prediction impacts, those features that had the most impact for this particular model, as well as the confusion matrix indicating what types of errors were made by the model. We can also deploy our model to OML services to access as a REST endpoint for real-time scoring. In this case, we specify the name, the URI, the version, namespace, and whether or not we would like to share uh, that model with others. And we can view our deployed models by going to the models interface. Here we see our credit score model for credit scoring RF. And in our deployments as well, we have credit scoring RF. And if we select that, we'll see the metadata for this particular model with the predictors, the target, and the labels for that target, as well as the URI OpenAPI specification, which can be used as our REST endpoint. Going back to our experiment, there's one other thing to highlight. We can select a model and generate a notebook from that. In this case, we're going to generate a notebook for our random forest model. And this produces Python code using the OML for Pi API that will build the model with settings determined by AutoML. This will include the features selected by AutoML as well as the hyperparameters for this particular model. We can open this notebook. I'm just going to run all of the paragraphs. And we see that we have the metadata associated with the experiment that created this notebook. We can see the predictors determined by AutoML, such as the demographic segment, wealth, credit score bin, which is what we're predicting, as well as the customer ID for the unique identifier. From there, we construct a SQL query, which will then be supplied to OML Sync to get back a data frame proxy object corresponding to our in-database data. And we see a few rows of that table here. 
Next, we prepare the training data, which separates the predictors from the target, which is the Python convention. And then we have the settings that AutoML determined while building the model. You may want to adjust these settings manually to see if you can improve upon the model quality produced by AutoML. We're creating an OML for Pi random forest model object and then invoking fit on that with the training data and the case ID. Here we see the model object, how we can score using, in this case, the original build data just for illustration using the overloaded predict function and the model quality metric, in this case, balanced accuracy score. And that concludes our demo of the Oracle Machine Learning AutoML user interface.